Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is a Q learning algorithm and how to apply Q learning algorithm so that the agent can learn the policy in reinforcement learning. This is how the Q learning algorithm looks like. In the first step, for each S, comma A, initialize the table entry Q cap of S A to 0. That is nothing but for each possible states S and the possible actions A, we need to create a table and then we need to set the Q cap of S A, that is the every entry in the, into that particular table to 0. Next, we need to observe the current state S. Yes. Uh, let us say that uh, from the available uh, set of states, we will select one state and we will assign that particular state as a current state. For that particular current state, we need to perform these particular steps. Unless and until we reach this particular uh, goal state, we need to perform these particular uh, steps here. In the first step, select an action A and execute it. Let us assume that you have selected a particular state. From that particular state, we can perform a different actions. From those particular available actions, we need to select one action and then we need to execute it. Once that particular action is executed or performed, we will get the immediate reward, say that particular reward as R in this case. And whenever you perform an action A, you will move from current state S yes to a next state. We will say that particular next state as S dash in this case. Once you perform an action A and received a reward R, after that you will reach S dash. Now you need to update the table entry of Q cap of S day S A as follows. Q cap of S A is always equivalent to R that is nothing but the immediate reward plus gamma that is nothing but uh, the discounted uh, value multiplied by max of Q cap of S dash A dash for all A, A dash. That is nothing but when you perform an action A, you will move to S dash that is the next state. From this particular next state, whatever the actions we can perform, we need to perform those particular actions and then we need to get the immediate reward. The maximum among those things will be the value of this one. And then we need to multiply that uh, maximum value with uh, gamma add it to immediate reward, you will get the updated value for S comma A here. Once you perform this particular uh, step, you need to assign this S dash, that's a new state to current state in this case. Once you reach the goal state, you can stop here. Otherwise, you need to go back here and then you need to select one action from the uh, S and then execute it, receive the immediate reward. Once you receive the immediate reward, you will get the new state. Once you receive once you go to the new state, you need to update this particular Q table entry again. The same process is repeated unless and until you reach what you can say that the goal state in this case. To understand this particular algorithm better way, I will take one example. In uh, This is the example uh, I will take. In this case, you can see here, uh, there are uh, six, uh, what you can say that the states are there, that is uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and if you want to go from one step stage to another uh, state for example you are present uh, the agent is present in 0th uh, state and uh, the agent wants to move to 4th state he has to perform an action that is this action the actions are represented with edges uh, we can give some names or the numbers to that uh, whenever agent uh, moves from 0 to 4 the action is uh, 4 here whenever agent moves from 4 to 0 the agent uh, has performed an action of 0 Similarly, whenever an agent moves from 2 to 3, the action is 3. Whenever agent moves from 3 to 2, the action is, uh, uh, again, you can say that uh, 2 in this case. Because uh, 5 is a goal state in this case, whenever you perform an action and you reach the goal state, the immediate reward uh, uh, will be maximum. In this case, it is 100 here. And uh, one more thing we need to notice here, uh, we need one uh, gamma value, that is uh, the discounted uh, value. So that uh, we will set it to 0 0.8 in this case. Okay. So first of all, I will write uh, gamma here and then I will have the value as 0 0.8. Now, as per this particular algorithm is concerned, uh, we have two things. One is called as S and A. S is a set of state. A is a set of actions. In this case, we have uh, states like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actions are again 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Now uh, we have to 
select or observe a current state assume that i will select this particular state that is 3 if that is the case uh, s will become uh, 3 in this case whenever i am present in this particular current state uh, i have to perform these particular actions or the steps this is starting from here uh, all these particular steps i have to perform unless and until i have reached the goal state so what is the first thing i need to do select an action a and execute it what are the different actions we can perform first of all when we are present uh, in state 3 that is uh, we can perform action 2 1 4 that is i can perform 2 i will go to 2 i will perform 1 i will go to 1 i will perform action 4 i will go to 4 let us assume that among these three i will select an action 4 here one here randomly you can select anything uh, for time being i will select one now if i select this particular one uh, what will happen is uh, uh, i will get an immediate reward that is uh, if i perform an action one i will go to one so immediate reward is how much zero here so r is equal to zero in this case now uh, whenever i perform this action i will go to one so that's the reason s dash will become one in this case now uh, current state is uh, 3, the next state is 1, immediate reward is 0, the action performed is 1. So, I will put everything in this particular equation here. This will become, uh, you can say that Q cap of 3 comma 1 because 3 is the current state, 1 is the action I have selected, immediate reward is uh, three, uh, 0 in this case, uh, plus gamma is uh, 0.8 and then max of Q cap of S dash A dash, S dash is what? 1. So, what are the different actions you can perform when I am present in 1? I can perform an action 5 or I can perform an action 3 in this case. So, whenever I perform action 3, I will get immediate reward of 0. Whenever I perform action 5, I will get immediate reward of 100 here. So, between these two, 100 is maximum. So, first I will write 0 here, 100. Between these two, 100 is maximum. So, 100 into 0.8 is equal to 80 in this case. So, I will get uh, the value for this particular uh, current state and the action is 80 that is the current state is 3 and action is 1 so i will get 80 as the value in this case now uh, i am present in uh, uh, state 1 uh, that is uh, s dash so s will become what according to this particular step s is equal to 1 in this case now this 1 is not a goal state so we have to consider this as a current state and then we need to perform unless and until i reach the goal state here so uh, because I am present at uh, uh, state 1, I have to see what all actions I can perform. I can perform an action 5 or I can perform an action 3 here. So, 3 is the one action and 5 is the another action. Between these two, I will select, assume that I will select 5 as the action. If I select 5 as the action, I will get immediate reward of 100 here. So, I will put 100 as the immediate reward. Now, if I perform this action 5, where I will go? I will go to the next state is 5 here so i will put it as 5 in this case so the current state is 1 immediate reward is uh, 100 the action performed is 5 and i have reached 5 so i will put everything in this particular equation that is q cap of current state is 1 action performed is 5 immediate reward is 100 in this case 0.8 is the gamma value max of uh, s dash a dash s dash is 5 and what all actions I can perform is, I can perform an action 1 so that I will go to 1. Similarly, I can perform an action 4 so that I will go to 4. In both the cases, I have 0, 0 as the value. So, maximum between these two zeros is 0. So, I will get 100 as the value in this case. That is, uh, from five, 1 to 5, that is nothing but, I have perf uh, in state 1, I have performed an action 5. And the value for this particular entry is 100 in this case. It is already present here, so there is no need to modify. If there is any change, we need to modify that particular value here. Now, uh, uh, S dash uh, is put into S, so we got uh, 5 in this particular S. The meaning of this particular thing is, I have reached the goal state, so one episode has completed. The same process has to be uh, com continued unless and until we remove these particular zeros from this particular uh, all all the actions uh, over here uh, that is nothing but uh, considering the different uh, state as a current state and then selecting all possible actions and then doing it again and again once i do this particular thing again and again definitely i will get the converged values that is nothing but the final uh, what we can say that uh, the policy what we have learnt in this case so this is a very simple uh, 
uh, example so that you can understand how the Q learning algorithm works. In the next video, I will uh, consider the same example one more time and then I will try to solve it uh, completely and that is uh, for each and every age I will try to solve it uh, so that we will get the final uh, you can say that the policy in that case. I hope you understood uh, what is Q-learning algorithm and how to apply the Q-learning algorithm so that the agent can learn the policy. If you like the video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.